Hi, I'm Mark Kenyon here with the St. Louis Guru's Garage. And today we want to talk about proper piston to wall clearance and where we're going to measure it on our piston. As you can see, this piston is skirt coated. That skirt coating adds to the overall size of the piston and we need to factor that in when we're measuring and setting up our uh, piston to wall clearance. So let's go ahead and get started measuring that. Let's go to the workbench and we'll get our micrometers and we'll get a measurement on here. All right, now we're over here at the workbench. We need to actually calculate what our true piston to wall clearance is gonna be. First thing we need to know is what is our standard bore size? Our example piston that we're using right here is a 455 Pontiac motor. The 455 has a very unique bore size. Standard bore size is four inch, 151 thousandths. Our pistons that we're using are actually 30 over pistons. So we would need to add 30 thousandths to the standard bore size to calculate what our finished bore size would be. In this case, our finished bore size would be four inches, 181 thousandths. Now, in order to determine what is our true piston to wall clearance, we're gonna need to know what size is our piston skirt. And that information is also on the label on the piston box. You'll see right here at the top, piston skirt size is four inch 178. We also need to know where we're gonna measure it on that piston skirt. That information is also here. It tells us that we need to measure two inches, 160 thousandths from the top of the piston down on the skirt to our measuring point. And it also says that we need a minimum clearance of two and a half thousandths. So what I've done is I've taken my dial caliper and I've set it at two inches, 160 thousandths. We're gonna use this end of the caliper to measure from the top of the piston down on the skirt to our measuring point. Notice on this piston right here that we have a small window built into the skirt coating. This allows us to get an accurate measurement on the piston skirt itself. As you saw in our video earlier where we're actually over the machine honing, this piston did not have that window in the skirt. All right, makes it much more difficult to calculate the actual clearance. So now that we have this window, we need to take our micrometer and we need to measure on that skirt. And all we're gonna do is basically center our micrometer on our piston in the windows. And we're just gonna measure. And as we can see on this piston right here, it measures exactly what the box says, four inches, 178. Now that we have that number, we can compare that to what the actual finished bore size is. In this case, our finished bore size would be four inch, 181 thousandths. Skirt Mike's four inches, 178. The difference between the two numbers is three thousandths of an inch. Remember our minimum clearance is two and a half thousandths. So if we finish this motor at four inches, 181, we will be a half a thousandths larger than our minimum clearance. That's where you wanna be when you put this motor together. Now, for some reason, if you decide you want it a little tighter, you could actually go just slightly smaller on the bore size, but remember two and a half thousandths is our minimum clearance. If you want slightly more clearance, you could add a half a thousandths and actually make it just slightly larger than what we have, and that would be your maximum clearance, All right? I'm Mark Kenyon with the St. Louis Guru Garage. For more helpful tips, check out our YouTube channel.